Golfers at par three on Tuesday were met with a shocking sight as this fence was destroyed by a driver before getting onto the course and destroying much of the area. But fortunately, the Greens crew worked quickly and were able to make sure everybody made their tea time this morning. Yeah, they really did a number on it. Probably did a number on their car too. As golfers made their way through the par three golf course Tuesday, they were greeted by a brand new hazard on the back nine. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that out here before. The surprise hazard, a destroyed fence caused by what police are saying was a drunk driver who made their way onto the course around 1030 Monday night. Heck of a ride it looks like, but, uh, but tough to see. When golf pro Matt Stricker first heard the news, he feared the worst. Where are we? You know, are we closed? You know, are we going to get it open? His concerns were valid. The driver cruised around the back nine before finally finding the parking lot, where he or she abandoned this vehicle and fled the scene. Billings police have yet to locate the driver. Yeah, you can see where they, right through the middle, of the, I mean, almost geographically right through the middle. While the fence along Central Avenue is the most noticeable, the course suffered other damage like the tire tracks yeah, on this green. All right, let's do it, huh? And there's problems on other holes too, with damage to several greens and tee boxes as well as tire tracks along the fence lining 19th Street. We're mid-season, so any damage that's out there now, it, it's hard to fix. Issues coming at perhaps the worst time. During the busy summer months, the greens crews got to work immediately putting the course back together after the accident. Incredible job by those guys. They, they work hard and, you know, it's, it's their baby, you know, so, so they take it very personal when something like that happens. By Tuesday morning, somehow, some way, things were back in full swing. A gift for all golfers who had plans to hit the links. I've go golfed here for quite a few years, you know. And the grounds crew is, is spectacularly good. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.